start speaking though. The what? He, he said he was looking for him. I'll speak. So did, did you did you want to do this one? All right, I'm ready. You ready? Sure. Okay. I thought I was supposed to be over here. I'm sorry. Oh no worries. Do, we, do you have a, a slip or anything though? For I don't know who. Where's Tom? All right. Can you? Yeah, right. I can go. Look All right. There. All right. job in transition you guys uh, are, are quick which is good something to maybe uh, the uh, think about I like working open with my shoulders um, open to the floor, I don't work at a 45 degree when I'm the lead. Just something to think about. We all have our own personal preference. It's just that you get the pickup plays a little bit more, uh, or, or a little sooner if you're open rather than with your uh, shoulder 
somewhat turn on a 45 or 30 degree angle. Hey. Are you here? Yeah. No, I haven't seen the schedule yet. They put me here. Oh. here. I'll go over there and replace him there. Those are your guys. Oh, yeah. I was told to go here. So this is Mike. That's Sorry, that's Troy. That's Troy. Yeah. Mike is uh, right there. And Matt. Okay. All right. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Good summer? So far. Michael, just make sure it's a good double whistle there. Just make sure we uh, eye contact it, eye contact with our trailer, just to make sure one does not have a offensive fall. That's a good foul call, not a popular one, but you have to allow the airborne shooter, such as that, to land. Point shot. Make sure we, we watch on film if we can look at where our eyes go. Make sure we step in, look for point of contact, and make sure that we are in then a position to rebound. I haven't seen them play yet, so I wanted to see them. 
when you take a look at that video here, make sure we step either in to see an angle between the defender and the shooter, or what I'd like to do is get yourself in a position to step down. Let's see if you can see me here. If we get here and we step inside like this, and see shooter up and down. Hi, Matt. Good hit, Michael. Good foul call. Good patience. Way to see the play start, finish. Start, develop, and finish. Right there, make sure we're seeing on film. Don't be retreating towards the division line as the shot's going up. We want to have to stay in, stay in with the matchup so we can release to rebounding coverage. If you start to leak, we're not, we're not in a very good position to have rebounding coverage. Center official, start down here. Sit down here, okay? It's a good call, Michael Graber. He is not in legal guarding position. He was never in legal guarding position. Had he established legal guarding position and was retreating, maybe a no call. But in that case, not a no call. Michael, 
I know it's kind of a small thing, but take a look at your t table presentation. I know the table's not in the most ideal spot, but just make sure that we finish our table presentation before we look away. I think everything looks good, but when we start to give the hit signal and the two shots and we're starting to turn away, and I just don't think it looks as crisp. And again, I understand that the table location here is not ideal. Step in there, good crew communication. I think everybody's aware of well the clock and who has the last shot. Good, good job of the crew is allowing and letting everybody know who's got what. Just make sure that everybody here has an opinion. Make sure that on that situation, every even though Troy has the last shot, he's got the horn, the shoot, the shooter. Just make sure everybody has an opinion on that. Thank you for blowing your whistle in my ear.
good hustle? I should say good haul, good hustle, good call. I didn't think you had that in you. <laughs> Make sure you see that, make sure we don't rotate on that drive. You can pinch, but just don't rotate. On the no carry, I think he, he just grabbed grabbed it. He didn't re dribble it. He didn't. He kept his hand on top. If he did, I didn't think there was anything there. Thank <laughs> you. 
just just instead of saying moving because moving isn't technically moving technically isn't a foul just say illegal screen illegal screen just clean up the verbiage on that a little bit nice hustle way to, way to avoid me Contact good, that's a good get. Again, I know the table location is not the greatest, but just make sure we finish Clean it up a little bit. Just Matt, just make sure when we're when we're officiating that we gotta make sure that we get to the C spot. Make sure we get to the free throw and extended. Make sure you see that contact, especially the illegal contact.
think as a collective group here out of the three of us, when we blow our whistle, whether it's a foul, a violation, we need to get the whistle out of our mouth and communicate. Not only are we communicating to our partners, but the players as well. So if we communicate, and there's a question of what's being called or what 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 the whistle was, if we just communicate by by dropping our whistle, we have a travel, we blow our whistle, hey, traveling, blue ball, spot. It just slow down, communicate. It can be nonverbal, such as that. But verbal. We got a foul, two shots. Any line, any line. You're in play. How we doing? Good, deal. Good. That's a better job of staying there with your shooter and not retreating. That's a better job. Just make it a fo make it a focus point on your next game. When the shooter and your shot goes up and you're outside, don't drift away. Hey, she's on time. <laughs> Troy, way to stay on the play, see it. 
read it, process it. Now, we should now all know that every foul on white is resulting in free throws. We should not see you one time as a crew, unless we have a team control situation or a player control foul, point to the spot for throwing. We should be right away, one on one, or, or know that when we get to 10, two shots. Always have our shooter when there is a foul on white. It's a good timed whistle right there. picking thing. What are you waving off? The wall didn't go in the hoop. If you're going to give them the act of shooting, you're going to tell them two shots. If you want on a spy, you're just going to point. Just be careful that we're not waving off air. I know that sounds weird, but you don't need to wave off if the ball doesn't go in the hoop. Hi, James. should know that when we blow our whistle, we should be in the bonus. We've already shot one bonus free throw. We should now know that if the next foul on white is committed in the next 37 seconds, we will have two shots. So there's no need to wave off any shots. It's going to be two shots. Unless the ball goes in, we'll have an and one.
Good job, gentlemen. Good job. Stay with this to the final whistle.